Who is Jesus? Your answer to this question separates you from everyone else. Your answer to this question separates you from the atheist, but it also separates you from the Muslim and the Mormon and the Jew. Not only does it separate us from other people in their own beliefs, but who we believe Jesus is actually separates us from who we used to be, or maybe who you are now. So over the next few weeks, we are actually going to talk about exactly who Jesus is, who he says that he is. Jesus says, I am, seven times in the book of John, and we're gonna go through each of those over the next couple of weeks, and we're going to figure out exactly who Jesus is. All right, so week one, we talked about Jesus says that he is the bread of life, that ultimately he is who sustains us, not just in this life, but for eternity. Week two, we talked about how Jesus is the light of the world, and we said that that means three things. That light, number one, is it pushes back darkness, how Jesus pushed back the darkness in his life by healing people and setting people free. That Jesus also purifies, that Jesus gave his life to purify us and to take away our sin. And then the number three was that light is what we follow when we're in darkness. And if we will put our eyes on the light, that in the distance, if we'll just move towards the light, uh, we will ultimately be free from the darkness. And Jesus says that we are now the light of the world. And so that we should look like him in those things. We should be able to push back darkness by the way that we live. We should be able to purify by the way that we live. And we should be able to say, hey, follow me. Get out of the darkness. Do as I do. Follow me as I follow Christ. And so this week we're talking about Jesus's third I am statement. Let's read this in the book of John chapter 10 starting in verse 1. It says, Jesus said, I tell you the truth, the person who does not enter the sheepfold by the door but climbs in some other way is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The one who guards the door opens it for him and the sheep will listen to the voice of the shepherd. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he brings all his sheep out, he goes ahead of them and they follow him because they know his voice, but they will never follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they don't know his voice. Jesus told the people this story, but they did not understand what it meant. So Jesus says again in verse seven, I tell you the truth, I am the door for the sheep. All the people who came before me were thieves and robbers. The sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. And the person who enters through me will be saved and will be able to come in and go out and find pasture. See, Jesus makes this connection with sheep and shepherd and he's calling people the sheep. And he's, he tells this story first that there are people that are trying to, to get into the sheep, that they're trying to ultimately, they're not going the right way. They're, they're going at the sheep from the back door. They're, they're trying to crawl over the wall to get these sheep. That they are thieves and robbers. They're there to take for themselves. They're there for their own sake. But Jesus says this, that, that the sheep listen to the voice of the shepherd that they know his voice, that they understand the voice of their shepherd and that they follow him. And so people are confused, they don't understand. And he says, hey, listen, I am the door for the sheep. I am the way that you have to go through. I am the only way to get in. What they used to do is, as shepherds, is they would create this pen around their sheep so that they could be protected at night. And the, the shepherd would lay across the opening of the pen to literally be a gate so that the sheep could get out, but only whenever he wanted them to. And he would also know if one was trying to escape or if something was trying to get in, he would be the one in between them, that he would be the one that protects the sheep. And so Jesus is drawing this picture of, hey, look, I'm the one at the gate. I am the one that you must enter through to get to safety. I am the one and I'm the only one. What we believe about Jesus separates us from everyone else. Jesus wasn't just a good person. He's not just some great teacher. He is actually the only way that we get to God. He is the only way that we have to reach the Father and to have that safety of 
being in his pasture. And Jesus is saying this and he's telling them, guys, you need to follow me. You need to know my voice, that the sheep know the voice of their shepherd. I heard somewhere that they, they would actually, like when the shepherds would come, all their sheep would just kind of hang out by themselves and the shepherds would talk and they'd all the sheep would be mixed in and the shepherds would be talking to each other, hanging out, doing their thing. And then when they were ready to go, that the, for them to separate their sheep, that the shepherds would just walk in the different directions that they needed to go and they would begin to call for their sheep and the sheep knew their shepherd's voice they knew the call from the shepherd and so they began to follow their shepherd and it would separate their sheep and so what Jesus is saying is hey if you will know my voice if you will listen to my voice if you will follow me I am the way to the Father. I am the gate. I am the protector. I am the one that makes sure that you are where you belong. I have got you. So Jesus is not just a gate. He is the gate. He's the only way. And he's telling these people, hey, listen to my voice. Follow me. Everyone that came before me, they were after something. They were thieves. They were robbers. They were trying to break you down. But I am here. I protect my sheep. My sheep know my voice. And they follow me. So follow Jesus today. Let's break up into small groups and talk about it.